Hi, and welcome to video 1.1, an introduction to Microsoft Visio and process mapping. In this module, we'll define what Microsoft Visio is and what the program may be used for. This module will also cover process mapping and the steps to create one. So what is Microsoft Visio? Microsoft Visio is a helpful software used by IT and business professionals to create a visual representation of complex information systems. By having a system mapped out or in the form of a diagram, professionals can analyze and identify strengths and weaknesses in their system. The visuals created from Microsoft Visio will also allow the communication of a system to be much easier so that others will be able to understand the system through the use of shapes, lines, and arrows. In Microsoft Visio, models or diagrams can be created using templates or a blank sheet. Some of the available templates include organization charts, flow charts, floor plans, and network designs. Working from a template will allow users different sets of objects to build their model or diagram. The flowchart template will make available geometric shapes, floor plans, furniture and housing parts, and network computers and network cables. So what is process mapping? Process mapping is a workflow diagram used to bring forth a clear understanding of a process or a series of parallel processes. A process map is also called a cross-functional flowchart or deployment chart. It visually depicts the sequence of events to build a product or produce an outcome. Process mapping is a visual representation of a process that illustrates what activities are completed by whom and in what sequence, hands-off between departments or individuals, internal and external operational boundaries, also known as swim lanes, clear starting points, and also stopping points. The following procedure can be used to create a process map. First, select the process and define the process boundaries. Next, create the as-is process map. And then go ahead and create the could be or should be process map. Implement the changes and train those involved in the process. Validate improvements by collecting performance data. And if necessary, modify the process further until ultimate efficiency is reached. 